Yo, what's good, boxing heads and fight fans around the world? B Marsh with another boxing video. Breakdown and prediction for um, this fight between Nathan Cleverly and, and Badu Jack, 175 pounds. Again, I'm not too sure if this is a 10 round over or a 12 rounder, considering the fact that the man um, Badu Jack is making his 175 pound debut. You know what I mean? I'm assuming it's for a 12 rounder because I do know that the WBA gave uh, Dimitri Bivar, who is the mandatory challenger for um, Nathan Cleverly, they gave him an exemption. They gave Cleverly an exemption so he could fight the man, um, Badu Jack, rather than Dimitri Bivol, you know what I mean? So I'm assuming um, they paid Bivol some step-aside money. So I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, this will be a 12-rounder. All right, now Nathan Cleverly is a guy, guy from Wales, former world champion, you know what I mean? Badu Jack, he himself, former world champion, also at 168 pounds, you know? Guys are bo both guys are about 6'1". Both guys have about the similar reach, so nobody has any the advantage there. But as far as skill set, uh, Badu Jack has come up. Uh, you know, Badu Jack has one of the best um, resumes in the last in his last four or five fights, where he's only taken on guys who are current champions or former world champions. You know what I mean? You could call this guy Nathan Nathan Cleverly. He's a regular champ, isn't he? You know what I mean? So you know, he's not a world champ in my opinion, but. Uh, you know, he's a guy who holds a, 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 a title, you know what I'm saying? Not a world title, because I don't, I don't consider no world titles or regular titles world titles. But, you know, he's in a guy who's in a position to be a, um, a WBA mandatory, you know what I mean, for that uh, 168 WBA. Who, who got that? Um, uh, George Groves. I'm bugging, man. This ain't 168. Badu Jack now is at 175. That's Andre Ward, you know what I mean? Um, but Badu Jack, man, from beating Anthony Durrell, who was a champion, he beat him, took a belt off him, beat Badu Jack, not Badu Jack, George Gross, who's a, currently a world champion, Lucian Butte, you know, and I'm forgetting somebody else in there. Who else did he fight? Of course, J J James DeGale for the unification, you know what I mean? That I had correctly, I thought they, they scored it correctly, the judges, I had that a draw. And that's the last we've seen Badu Jack in the ring, you know what I mean? But I think Badu Jack is a guy, he can beat Nathan Cleverly if he sticks to his game plan. And to me, his game plan will to be outbox him on the outside, but get on the inside. Because Nathan Cleverly will, is a guy who can also fight on the inside, you know what I mean? He's not afraid to go on the inside, you know what I'm saying? I've not quite seen the man Badu Jack fight on the inside as in putting his head on somebody's chest and just straight digging to the rib cage and throwing all kinds of shots from the inside. But he is a hellacious body puncher. And Badu Jack doesn't do too many things awesome. He does a lot of things just well, you know what I mean? He's a good, well-rounded fighter, you know. But to me, his best attribute of his game is his, uh, his body shot arsenal, you know what I mean? And... I think that's how he can actually hurt the man Nathan Cleverly, you know. Nathan Cleverly is a guy who's going to fight from up close, you know what I mean. He ain't going to be fighting from a distance, you know what I mean. It's going to be a close quarters fight. Badu Jack, in my opinion, though, is also, you know, he's a guy, if he's not careful, he could also get clipped by Nathan Cleverly, you know what I mean. Nathan Cleverly is a dude who's, um, you know, he's a guy who's always ready to go to war, you know what I mean. He's ready to throw bombs really neglect defense, but just straight up and down work on his offense, you know. But that's why I got to give Badu Jack the edge, you know what I mean. I think Badu Jack got the better jab. I think Badu Jack got the tighter defense. He's more disciplined. He won't take as many chances with his chin like Nathan Cleverly will. Nathan Cleverly will give up his whole chin. He'll take one shot to give up two. He'll take two shots to give up one, you know what I'm saying. So Nathan Cleverly... I think he can get this victory if he sw he fights a smart fight, you know what I'm saying? If, if he fights on the inside, then re apply relentless pressure on the man Badu Jack, you know what I mean? He don't need to cut off the ring. Badu Jack will be there. He'll be easy to find. It's vice versa for Badu Jack. He don't got to cut off the ring or nothing, man. These two guys will be fighting in the in the center of the ring, you know what I mean? Whoever gets back down, back, uh, back down to the ropes... That's going to be the person who's going to be giving up um, the ring generalship and basically going to be um, showing resistance, you know what I mean? And Badu Jack, in my opinion, is going to have this guy, Nathan Cleverly, at some point in time on the ropes taking punishment because he got caught in between 
in between and close quarters with something that um, Nathan Cleverly wasn't ready for, you know what I mean? Badu Jack better be aware too, but that's why I give Badu Jack the edge. I think he's a more disciplined fighter, you know what I mean? You check it. I mean, the guy I used to train with fellas like Eddie, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, and that's a very good trainer, you know what I'm saying? Um... Um, you know, Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, he's a guy who's trained fellas like Iran Barkley, you know what I mean? Fellas like Chad Dawson, you check it. Um, I think Lou Duval is currently the man Badu Jack's trainer right now, but um, all in all, man, I just see the man Badu Jack, he's just going to edge this victory out. I probably got him beating Nathan Cleverly by decision, you know what I mean? 12-round decision, I think Badu Jack is going to use his jab. Throw his body shots, you know what I'm saying? Catch the man Nathan Cleverly from up close, you know what I'm saying? With um, you know, with all kinds of shots, uppercuts and le left and right hooks to the body and to the head, straight right hand. I give the straight right hand edge more to the man Nathan Cleverly, you know what I'm saying? But um, I think Nathan Cleverly is gonna want to make this a brawl, and if he does, that favors the man Badu Jack in my opinion, because Badu Jack's defense is much tighter than Nathan Cleverly's, you know what I mean? So I got the man Badu Jack winning this via unanimous decision. Probably eight rounds to four, maybe nine rounds to three. And Badu Jack, I got him looking impressive in his um, a good victory, a good name on his resume for his first time at 175, you know what I mean? This fight was actually supposed to be a Lydia Alvarez versus Badu Jack. But um, a lot of people, I listen to their videos, I don't think they're aware that the man, they keep saying, that Adonis Stevenson right now is still ducking Badu Jack. I don't think they're aware that the man Elidia Alvarez was supposed to fight. I said, I said Elidia Alvarez is ducking Adonis Stevenson. Still seems like a lot of people are still under that, um, you know, they're still under that train of thought, you know what I'm saying? But you, you guys are clueless because Elidia Alvarez was offered to, to fight Badu Jack. He was going to fight Badu Jack on this Mayweather-McGregor undercard for a million dollars, going to get a million dollar purse. But the man fucked his ankle up in training, and thus the reason why we have Nathan Cleverly versus Badu Jack, because this fight was supposed to be Badu Jack versus Elidia Alvarez, but Elidia Alvarez is injured. So, I don't understand, man. You know, some people just... Don't know shit about boxing and they got channels, man. It's fucking pathetic. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments. I got Badu Jack winning this fight by um unanimous decision. I think Nathan Cleverly will be will be game for a few rounds, but ultimately the better fighter, man, Badu Jack, I think, will win this fight, you know what I mean? And it'll be interesting. Um if Badu Jack wins this fight, man, he shall be going the WBA route, man. He shall be a mandatory for the man, um, Andre Ward, and I'd love to see that fight too, but not before I see Adonis Stevenson versus Andre Ward. Be Marsh Boxing, leave your thoughts and comments, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next vid. Thanks for listening. Peace.